This is your Hello Year 9, this is your next lesson on Lord of Flies. We are going to be focusing today on chapter 12. Now over the Easter holidays I have put together a more structured programme of how we're going to deliver work to you each week and what we're expecting you to do. So as you, you can see here, if you look at the year nine um, row, on a Monday, you will have a video lesson. Tuesday, you get a day off from English. On a Wednesday, you get a video lesson. And then on Thursday, you get a video lesson. Then at the end of your video lesson on Thursday, I will instruct you um, to complete a task, a written task, sort of demonstrate all of the knowledge that you've learned that week and on a Friday during your sort of hour slot you are to complete that written task and then send that written task only to your class teacher so we're not expecting you to send us daily e emails of the work that you've been doing to make things simpler to make it so your teacher can give you proper feedback on the tasks that you are do doing each week we are only ex expecting you to email us once a week with that independent work which we will then over the next couple of days after that give you some feedback and send back to you now obviously if you're stuck if you want to email your teacher before then you absolutely can but we're only requiring you to email us for year nine on that friday with your independent work so we are going to start as always with some vocabulary we are going to start with disconsolate now this is a word that we did quite a few terms ago which is quite a tricky one so i'm going to help you out um, and give you the definition although if you want to pause the video and come up with your own definition obviously you can if you're feeling disconsolate then you're incredibly distressed and unhappy so why would Ralph be feeling disconsolate when piggy is killed so pause the video and answer that question now our new word is trepidation so if you feel trepidation, you're feeling um, it's a, a feeling of fear or anxiety about something that might happen. So you can just write down that definition quickly, feeling of fear or anxiety about something that might happen. So after the events of chapter 11, why would Ralph be feeling trepidation? So think about what happened in chapter 11. Why would Jack, sorry, Ralph be feeling trepidation? So then we have our sort of optional want to aim higher question. How has Golding built the reader's feelings of trepidation throughout the novel? So how has that trepidation, that anxiety built, that tension built to these sort of final disastrous events? So you can pause the video and have a go at answering those questions. If you find these questions difficult, please do not worry about them. So why would Ralph be feeling disconsolate when Piggy is killed? Well, firstly, who has essentially been his best friend, his advisor on the island is murdered, brutally murdered um, before his eyes. But there will, could also be a sense of Ralph feeling guilty for what he's done because he has been mean to Piggy in the past. He's the one that led Piggy up there and Piggy was always very vulnerable without his glasses. So Ralph is going to be feeling an intense sense of horror but also guilt as well so trepidation then well Ralph will be feeling trepidation because he is the only one left who is not under Jack's control and even if he wanted to join Jack's tribe and allow Jack to have power over him it is unlikely that Jack would let him so Ralph is now you know hiding in fear of his life so how has Golden built the reader's feelings of trepidation then well we know that one of the key themes of this novel is savagery versus civilization and Golding has cleverly built up this, this idea of showing the boy's descent into savagery so that's really important this idea that actually as the boys become more and more savage the trepidation builds and builds so our knowledge goal today is to analyze the significance the significance of the events of the, the final chapter so by the end of the lesson you will know the key events of chapter 12 your final impression of Jack and Ralph and the significance of those key events of chapter 12. So you can pause the video and just write that knowledge goal down. So, so using your online copy, I would like you to read the opening of chapter 12 
and then end when um, Ralph walks away from his conversation with Sam and Eric. Sam and Eric, who have now been adopted into Jack's tribe against their will. Then I'd like you to pause the video and answer these questions. What do the twins reveal about Jack and Roger? What does Roger sharpening a stick at both ends mean? And what does this action symbolise and reveal about Jack's tribe? The fact that they're sharpening. Okay, so read to the end of Ralph's conversation with Sam and Eric, then answer those questions. Okay, so you can pause the video now. To be so now, uh, once you've answered those questions, I would like you to read to the end of chapter 12 and then answer these questions. What would have happened if Jack's tribe, sorry, a bit of a typo there, if Jack's tribe had caught Ralph, what do you think they would have done to him if the naval officer hadn't been there? How is Jack presented at the end of the chapter? So think about that description of Jack. Think about the focus on Ralph speaking up as the leader. Why is this significant? You can pause the video and answer those questions. So now we have this final quotation I want us to have a think about. Ralph wept for the end of innocence, the darkness of man's heart, and the fall through the air of the true, wise friend called Piggy. Why is this quotation so significant? I'd like you to write an explanation of how this quotation links to the wider themes and Golden's intention in writing the novel. Think about this idea of innocence, darkness of a man's heart, and what Piggy as a character has always symbolised, and how, how does all of that link to Golden's intentions about showing the true reality of the darkness that lurks within every person? Remember, Golden felt this way because of his experiences in World War II. So then I'd like you to turn to your booklet, please, and fill in the pages about chapter 12. So you will see that there is a grid and some questions to answer. Um, and there is then a section on the ending of the novel. OK, there's quite a lot of extended writing tasks there. Um, don't feel like you have to complete the whole booklet if you don't want to. Remember, the only purpose of this is to be to have an opportunity to consolidate what you have learned about chapter 12. So finally, then we're going to look at our new word trepidation. Why do you think it is ironic that, after all the trepidation surrounding Jack's character, at the end of the novel, he is described as a little boy who wore the remains of an extraordinary black cap on his red hair and who carried the remains of a pair of spectacles at his waist, started forward, then changed his mind and stood still? So why is that description of Jack incredibly ironic, considering the way his character has been built up on the island? Okay, so thank you for taking part in this video. I'm hoping eventually to move to an opportunity where for those that want to, we can participate live and actually have some of you listening live to the lesson and then responding. But that's something we're going to sort of work on in the coming. Any questions, any concerns, as always, email your class teacher. Okay, bye-bye for now.